And they do come together and every once in a while and have these meetings for some reason. Sometimes they let us in, like this one. Um, so that's, that's my wife who abandoned me the first time we saw an, a sperm whale. And she's now come to realize, or sorry, I've come to realize that sperm whales are not that bad. So she took advantage of that knowledge and went back in with the sperm whales. And this is a very unusual sperm whale. The family was very, very uh, receptive. They were engaged in socialization. And this sperm whale was very, very familiar with people. In fact, would insist that you pet it. He would come charging at you and would not let you go until you pet it. And when you pet a sperm whale, and this is not, probably not going to happen to you, but if you pet a sperm whale, you have to use your entire body because it's big. And you're just going, you know, like this. So even though we knew that this sperm whale was friendly, you can imagine you've got a 30 ton or thereabouts. This was not fully grown, so maybe 30 tons, um, you know, 35, 40 feet foot animal coming at you, high speed, throwing, kicking up a wake, coming full speed at you. And you know you have to stand your ground because if it comes at you, it will stop right here and then you have to pet it. If you try to run away, it will ch this one would chase you down. And that's not pleasant. Um, but he was very friendly and he would close his eyes and you know appreciate. The... So every once in a while it does happen. 